Hello everyone, and this is the HD version of rooting your droid. Alright, first of all, you will need to download and install RSD Lite, which is um, which is a program that you're going to be using to actually root the droid. And to take a look at it, it looks something like this, just to um, show you what it should look like. That right there. It's got these two boxes. This is for the um, file properties and this is for the device properties, the actual droid. Now, um, first thing that you're going to want to do, you're going to want to take this and plug it in right here. And this is an unrooted droid. And as you can see, it has a version which is incompatible with the easy root. By that, I mean is like an application that you can use to root it. You have this build number here and it it's a new version of Android that doesn't let you root. Okay, so then you're gonna want to um, take your USB connected thing and turn on your USB. Okay. And then that should pop up here. Open the folder. Okay, so now that we're here inside of this magnificent folder with all of my stuff on it, you're gonna want to copy and paste that update, this update, uh, this one right here, this uh, zip file that I've told you to rename to update.zip, or just update, if it's just update in the zip format. As you can see, it is a compressed zip folder. All right, and then you're going to take that and just copy it onto the removable disk. Not in any folders. Oh, I already did it, but copy and replace. Alright. And there it is. Alright. And then what we're gonna do is take your RSD light here. And we are going to go over to the um to these three little dots, which is browse. And you're gonna browse for that other miscellaneous SBF folder that you've downloaded. It's the actual thing that installs the the root on your droid. Okay, and then this half of it fills out right here. And uh, you could do a couple things wrong when you go into this next process. You could unplug your droid while it's in the process, and that would screw it on beyond repair of even the Verizon guys, because the Verizon guys use this tool to fix their their droids. Now, what we're gonna do is take this. Let's zoom out a little bit. Let's take your droid. Go ahead and power off. Okay. Alright, and as we're powering off, we are almost there. Then, let's see if we can get some. Yeah. Okay. And then, all right, now that we're powered off, you're going to hold this uh, up D pad and then power it right back on while holding the up D pad. Come on. Then it should go to this battery OK, OK to program, transfer mode, USB, and bootloader thing. Okay, so now we're going to go over to here, and our computer has to find it. We're going to wait for the other half of the box to fill up, and then we can continue. And almost there. I already made one video about this, and kind of sucked because it was low quality and half of it was like one quarter of the screen was just this happening and one quarter was just the droid and it uh, didn't work out so well. Okay, well it's not finding it. Oh yeah it is, it's right here. Okay, sorry. It's this model number right here. Okay. 
You don't have to do anything, it just shows up. Alright, now we're just going to hit uh, start. And as you can see, that's really fast. Now, as in the instruction, hit the up D pad when it comes to this screen. Make sure you're. Alright, here we go. All you got to do is before your droid resets, it'll it'll say starting to reset or something. And you just got to hold the up D pad when it when it changes the screen to that, and then otherwise, I mean, it's not it's not a big deal if you don't catch the boot, which is what that's called. If you don't catch it, this little thing, this result will say like failure incomplete or something like that. I don't know what it'll say, and my camera's not focusing. Yeah, but now it says pass if you do catch it. You just gotta watch for that in my instructions. Anyways, yeah, so just hold the up D-pad when that screen comes up. <sighs> and then that'll restart it into the boot mode, and yeah. Alright, I'm rambling on. Now what we're gonna do is just hit this top button so it goes back into here, and hit the... Now we're gonna boot into the recovery mode. I think it's SP recovery, clockwork recovery, I don't know. Hit the X, and hit the top button. Power it back on. And we're going to see. Keep holding it. Alright, now this little guy is going to come up. And this little guy is going to tell us if we want to reboot, wipe data, wipe catch. Mount options, backup restore, install. Alright, we're going to go with install and then click on allow update.zip installation and then click on install update.zip. And see, this is installing super user, disabling flash recovery. There it is, installing super user. That's pretty much uh, rooting right there. Busybox unmounting system. Alright, it's done. Now just hit the hit the top button to go to your back to your main menu, then back up to reboot system now, and it's rebooting. Wait for it. All right, I'll stop this and come back when it's when it's on. Okay, so the first thing you'll notice, or not notice, is that everything looks the same as soon as it loads. <laughs> it's got to load first. There. Everything looks the same. All of your widgets will be in the same spot. Except that it's taken a while to load up. Alright, so what I find is very helpful to look for is the super note, or super user permissions right there and then that'll tell you if it's rooted or not I hope this has been helpful um, I might as well uh, install a cyanogen mod on here <laughs>